Hello again. Uh, in the last video, I showed you how to create uh, animations in Flash using Zara Extreme 5. Uh, in this video, as promised, I'm going to show you how to save the animation and then how to incorporate it into your own web pages. The process is pretty straightforward. Uh, first, you create the animation, and uh, I created this little animation here, which looks something like this. And um, Let's say that I'm happy with this animation, so now I want to go ahead and incorporate it into my own web page. So the first thing I do is I save the animation, the flash file itself, by clicking on File and then Export Animation. And I'm going to save it, uh, we'll call it Sale 2, and it's going to be an animated flash, also known as SWF format file, which is great. So. I'm going to go ahead and save it. It says, do you want to replace the existing one? Yes, I do. And now I have my animation saved. The next step I need to do is actually get the code to put into my uh, web page. And that's done easily in Zara Extreme by clicking on the preview button, scrolling down to this link that says inserting into web page. I click on that and I see the exact code I need to put to my web page, which is simply highlighted and hit Control C to copy it. And then I can close this window. At this point, I pull up my HTML page. I just have a simple page that has these same instructions. And towards the bottom here, at the end of this text, I'm going to simply insert this text here. It's from the last time. So I'm going to reinsert the text. And at this point, the only little change I need to make is the actual name of the SWF file is incorrect. Zero generates its own name, as you can see here in two places. This is one first place, and this is the second place. What I need to do is change it to use the same name as I called it, which would be sale-2. And the same thing here would be sale-2. And now I save my web page. And at this point, let's go ahead and take a look 